woke her up. We are going birthday money shopping yeah. for Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Your last day of school tomorrow, yes. Ryan. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. It's been an interesting day. If you guys have been watching some of the previous vlogs, you'll know that Katie has been diagnosed with mono. So I'm home today, well, I'm home every day. I work from home, but Katie's home today even though school isn't over yet. Um, she's missing the last week of school, but today she has to go in and take a biology test. So Brennan and Ryan are still at school, but she's totally out. Like we got um, a phone call from the doctor this morning because we went in on Monday to our pediatrician and they took three vials of blood actually and um, tested them and then we got the results they called this morning with the results saying that she's definitely has mono the one thing they were looking for in the blood test was to find out how long she's had it or what stage she's in of it and we got kind of the worst news actually she's in the acute beginning stages so they're saying that it's gonna get worse before it gets better um, which I can tell today she's much worse than she was yesterday the day before she's like totally fatigued and her throat hurts even more her throat is so disgusting. There's like inside her, I don't wanna tell you, but inside her throat, it's like little communities living in there. It's disgusting. But anyway, um, I need to wake her up and take her to take her biology test because it's the end of the school year and I hate to do it, but she was up a little bit earlier studying. Um, I think she's still sleeping. Her test is in 10, 25 minutes, so I kind of think we gotta go. Stay tuned. I woke her up. We're on our way for a test. We told them about your test today. I look obese, guys. I promise I'm not this big. Oh my goodness. My face is always big too. Listen to her voice. So, how are you feeling? that today is worse than yesterday or better than yesterday? Yesterday I was better than the day than the first day, but now I'm like, wait, what was yesterday? I don't even remember what day was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was Tuesday. Because like I sleep all the time, so I feel like my days are all screwed up now. Yeah, so yesterday was Tuesday. We went to the doctor, went to your pediatrician on Monday. Monday. Oh, okay. And it was Tuesday. So Monday was worse than Tuesday, but today's worse. I told them that the results said that you're in the acute beginning stage, so it could be like this for a couple of weeks. No, once they clear me from my spleen, once they say my spleen's not swollen anymore, I don't care how I feel, I'm still going to hang out with my friends. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna, no. Right, no, it's fine. No. But you just have to rest when you when your body says rest, you know? Yeah, and I will, but I'm not spending any more time on the couch or in my bed. The doctor did say that you're not allowed to do any contact sports, but you can swim. Like, as long as you're swimming laps by yourself, you can... I'm going to be coughing in the water, and then I'm going to accidentally just swallow water and Ew, see that'd be No, because, like, I act like you swallow water when you swim. Right. Like, it just happens. I'm just saying, she said, like, when you feel like it, when you feel up to it, that that's something that you could do if you wanted to, just to move around, you know? Going for a run is not a good idea. Playing field hockey, not a good idea. I think I don't play field hockey. Right. Cheerleading, not a good idea. I do that. Pole vaulting, definitely not a good idea. So you guys, just so what I'm explaining, mono is mononucleosis. And mononucleosis a, makes your spleen enlarged. That's like a symptom of it. Yeah. So it it's, it makes it very fragile. delicate and fragile, and it could burst. And if your spleen bursts, that's an emergency situation. So anyway, she said, picture that you have right down here your spleen, and that you have. It's not down here. It's like. She said it's behind your rib cage on the left hand side. Yeah. Right. Like right. right yeah, there. but you put it down here. Okay. It's not like your appendix. It's like. Uh, okay. All right. Very it's good. like. There. Oh my gosh, it's just, what if I just like popped it right now? A little bit biology, that's terrible. She said, pretend it's like a piece of china, like a crystal, like a really fine crystal, and you want to protect it at all costs, like that one pig could break it. If it does, 
<laughs> That'd be so cool. If it would it? Yes, it would. Imagine would. be like, I got mono and then my spleen burst out. <laughs> I you know what, you, it. Katie, that's, that would happen just because you have all of the just medical, because that's my, medical everything. Yeah. Yes. That's my look. No, you're not going to burst your spleen. Please be careful walking up the stairs. Should you go up the stairs to get to biology? Yeah. Okay, please be careful. And I'm going to be walking. Everyone's going to be leaving right now. Right, you're going to be swimming against the fish. Yeah, the up the street. Actually, I'm gonna call Molly and tell her to walk to biology with me. She has to say after for a okay. call Kiori. <laughs> she also has to make up a science test in Andrews. Go figure. All right, wonderful. Well, um, I don't know. Is that that Andrew? Side? That's my Andrew. Um, that's my T. Yeah. That's good. Also, fun. I'm not gonna bring this in today. Because I made Katie some hot tea with honey so she could sip it during her test. Oh, I gotta go. Ah. Oh, Katie, you Sorry. Are you getting out here? Yeah. Um, let me just look at because I don't want to carry this through the hallway. Let me just look okay, over. Hey guys, we'll say goodbye fast. for now. Hold I on. I just got beat back because I was sitting in the middle of the road trying to figure out where Katie was gonna get out. All right, Molly's hiding her face because she has a little bit of poison ivy and we put calamine lotion on it. I look good in this. You can't even I tell. Good, I, I got poison ivy all over my face, guys. She was playing lacrosse yesterday, which she does not play, and I'm she was looking for the ball in the weeds. Not. She got poison ivy. Stop. I never look so fat right now. No, Kate, please stop saying that every single time we turn the camera on. What? You don't look fat. Yes, you look I beautiful. Do. And everybody knows you're I sick. Not, uh, all right, you're both sick. <laughs> And I think we gave her mono too because she drinks and we eat and drink everything. All right, what do you guys think you got on your biology test? 50%. Oh no! I probably got a B. Good job, Ma. Katie, you didn't get a 50%, did you? <laughs> I probably got a C. <laughs> That'd be bad because that brings your grade down. That'd be super bad. And no, it's you not because it's a fail right now. So because it's a fail, that's what her current grade is. So if she gets a C, it'll probably bring it up. What? Like her fail, they put a fail in, which caused her grade to go down. Oh, 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 so if she gets oh! To see, it'll bring it up. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Set it in as a fail. <laughs> Kitty, stop kicking me. All right, so this is the deal. So they took their test. We came I home. I want you to not get the angle of my face like that. Oh. Katie and I came home and we ate Subway with Brennan. Instead of getting your dogs, those are nice. We ate Subway with Brennan right out there yes, at the table. Dog. You guys probably feel like Brennan is like Snuffleupagus because you never see him anymore. Do you guys know who Snuffleupagus is? Yes, Mom. Okay. Yes, you don't know Molly? Yes, she does. Molly, do you want me to tell you who Snuffleupagus is? Yeah, oh, you know who he is? Yeah. Okay. All right. So comment down below, you guys, if you know who Snuffleupagus is. And then Ryan just went to swim practice, so I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm trying to look at I'm gonna go swim. see him at swim practice. Then we're gonna go spend his birthday money. Yay! Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye, girls. All right. Today is the day. We are going birthday money shopping yeah. for Ryan. Got a lot of birthday money, a lot of gift cards. Um, so whatever, like I didn't get on my on my birthday list, I'm gonna probably go get and anything that I thought of. Uh, no, I want, I'm just gonna go get it. So uh, we have my debit card, which I already deposited, all my grandma money, all my uh, winnings from the uh, swan video. Oh yeah, um, and your lawn mowing money. Yeah, lawn mowing money, yes. Okay. Uh, Visa gift card. Uh, Got for 20, your birthday. Yep, $25, and a Models gift card. Fantastic, oh, and you have an Angler's gift card too. And an Angler's, yeah, Ooh. we can go to Angler's. I mean, are we gonna go to Angler's? We might. Huh. If you want to. Okay, so do you want to read your birthday list and then sh share with us what you did get so far? Okay, so new phone and then champion slides. I think I'm going to get champion slides. Um, punching bag. Okay, I know you guys think that's kind of weird. Why do you want a punching bag? But they're actually dope. Um, and it's a good workout. Range finder, which is the thing uh, in golf. Uh, it's pretty expensive, so I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, athlete bobblehead. Like, I'd love a Capitals or like a Chargers bobblehead, but my friend Graham ordered one. Sorry. <laughs> he ordered one for my birthday and he said it's coming, so that's good. So, uh, cross off that. Uh, fireworks, got those. Um, phone case, so I didn't get a new phone, so probably not. Uh, CJ Oshi jersey, I don't know about that one. Uh, probably get it next season. But there uh, might be something at Models that's like a t shirt. Yeah. Because okay. uh, I only have a capital sweatshirt, you know? I want some more stuff. Okay. Uh, and now a bubble head. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
golf clothes, which I would probably get those at the golf course I golf at because they also say like the name of the golf course. Maybe like a champion sweatshirt or like socks. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Ray Bans, probably not gonna get those. Uh, Apple Watch, no, uh, like these, uh, I didn't really try on. These are just like. Just, these are like stretch goals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I want Ultra Boost. I think like the big thing here, I really want new Ultra Boost because I Which had. Which are sneakers NMDs. for those of you who don't know. Yeah, so I didn't know. Adidas sneakers. Uh, so I had NMDs, but they're really small, or they're getting like small, and there's like rips in them because I've worn them so much. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get some Ultra Boosts. And just some swim goggles because I had to use my dad's every time I go to swim practice. I'm just getting a nice pair of goggles, you know? Sounds good, let's do it. Whoa, we're out. Let's go. First place, what else? Alright, so I don't have any ultra boosts here. Uh, I think there are some slides over at the mall. So I'm just gonna look for some. Maybe some clothes, some sports clothes uh, for the summer. <laughs> Alright, we're at another store, you guys. We had to leave the other one, and here we are. Ryan found his Ultra Boost. Oh, yeah. slides because as you know the pool uh, it's already open and uh, in the summer I need some slides because I can't go up all the time in vans right. uh, or in my ultras so I need some slides pick up some nice like, slides I like them because why not let's do it We are on our way back yeah. from our shopping spree. How'd it go, Ryan? Amazing. Like, I don't go on a lot of shopping sprees. Like, that's one of the first ones I've been on. Oh, well, not really. No, but you go to back to school. That's probably, then. yeah, a lot of back to schools. But that probably was just one of the, the first biggest. one. It was just you. I just thought it was just me and, like, just me and mom just hitting the stores. It was amazing. So, Ultra Boost, maybe the pride and joy of this. Um, I felt I felt really good. We're gonna go home. We're almost home. Uh, probably lay all them out. Uh, show you guys what we got. And yeah, good idea. All right, very good. Little that was like super fun. I'm very proud of you. You did Thank a nice you. job. Yeah, that was all Ryan. <laughs> was I bought him spent. one thing. Yeah, and she, he can tell you that when he shows it to you. What I yeah. bought him. I was going to eat. I'm totally hungry. It's 9:44. You have school Jeez. tomorrow. Your last day of school tomorrow, yes. Ryan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. That. Did we tell everybody what you're doing? Why tomorrow's your last day of oh, school? Why you're missing know. school on Friday? Did we? He's going on across the country road trip. Okay, so if you guys are OGs, uh, you probably know a little something called the man trip. So me, Brennan, and Dad, and our friends, um, Dad's friend and his son, we go on like this annual man trip. We didn't do one last year actually, um, but. The, like three years before that, the like in a row, we've done them. So we literally go out west, like rent a car or something, and just like go to places. So one time we went to like Northern California, Oregon, like uh, Washington. So we went to like Seattle. We looked at some mountains. We went to the like Space Needle. Um, uh, we did like hiking in Northern California. We've been to like uh, the Grand Canyon, like a lot of national parks. Uh, we were gonna go fishing in uh, Canada, but that can get coordinated last year. But this year, if you guys know where Jackson Hole is, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we went there two years ago. Yeah, we did. Uh, on our RV trip, actually. That's that was right. really fun. I loved it. Uh, that was pretty much 
a man trip, but just with the whole family. <laughs> um, and not just men. Um, so, yeah, it's fun. We, we always, like, go fishing, like, we trail mix. We stop at Sam's Club, uh, like, the first thing we do. Um, and we just pack the car up with a bunch of snacks and stuff to eat. Um, so yeah, and then we just find campsites to camp at at night. Uh, so that was a pretty long explanation, but anyway, uh, we're going on our annual man trip. In two Super days. excited. Oh, I'm jealous, but Katie and I are going to be going to Palm Springs, uh -huh. California. That's, that's why. That's very nice. Yes, we're not, obviously, we're not men, uh -huh. so we wouldn't be joining the man trip. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we'll hold down the fort here. <laughs> so we're flying to Jackson Hole, staying at a hotel, and then seven days. You'll see. Seven day drive. Woo! Oh. <laughs> you can't tell mom, okay? Did you tell mom? Did you tell me to tell mom? Okay. Is that real? So the thing is, okay, so me and mom are just messing around. We're like, okay, we'll just pierce her nose and then we'll take it out and it'll be fine. And then it'll just be whatever. It could, like cover the whole thing until it heals. <coughs> then we realized, we read something about like how to like do it and everything. And they said, you can't take it out right after or it'll get infected. So... <laughs> I'm either gonna have a nice, clean, empty hole or an infected, red, nasty hole. And mono. And mono. Yeah. So, so, um. Something's going terribly I wrong. I explained that to dad. At first, he was mad, but then he was like, hey, let's vlog it. So, if mom, <laughs> if mom finds out, I'm done for, okay? Uh oh. <coughs> What'd you do? Okay. Nothing. Hey, Kate. Okay. Show me what you did. Did she do something to her face? Kate. Okay. It's worse than the eyebrow. No, I told Kate. you not to say anything. I literally told you not to say anything. <laughs> Katie, is this a prank? This better be a prank. Let me say it. No, stop it. <laughs> what did she do? Hey, turn around. No, that I told you not to tell her. I'm right out of, I'm right out of, um... Uh, not to tell me, like I space. wouldn't see you? I'm right out of space. I was planning on going to sleep. Turn um, around! No, you have a project to do. That's a joke! 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 Me and Molly both made them at her house, <laughs> and we got her mom so... Oh, did she freak out? So she freaked out. <laughs> and then we came back and we went to Kyla's and got her parents, and they freaked out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our shopping spree. Now I'm just going to give you a little tour of everything I got. So, uh, first room we went to was Models. We didn't uh, get any of the shoes there, but uh, we did look out, so... I don't have a swim team, and for the past swim teams, I've been using my dad's goggles, so um, my silver pair of goggles is pretty good. Um, actually, we went to the mall, we went to Foot Locker. <clears throat> I got these bad boys, I'm wearing them because they're so beautiful. Ultra Boost, amazing, I love them. <clears throat> they're so comfortable, and they make me feel taller, so that's good. Uh, also, in Foot Locker, we got some Nike socks because, like, I love them, they're reliable. You know, anytime you just throw them on, uh, and I like them, so that's pretty much it. So we have the pool right up there. So every year I like get new slides, I guess, um, to go out to the pool with. Cause like I've been going out to the pool with my vans lately. I don't know. Uh, I just want some slides. So uh, it's reliable gray and black Nike slides. Cause why not? Um, all right, then we went to Nordstrom and we got this bad boy. Love it. Champion sweatshirt. Super comfy on the inside, by the way. Nice. It's like a heavy sweatshirt, you know, for the, the cold times. And then this icy shirt. Uh, the North Face. Isn't that tough? Okay, right, so it, says, it has the little North Face logo right there. And then it has a huge one on the back. It says, never stop exploring. So that's kind of dope. Uh, and then last, but certainly not least... Um, this is a Vineyard Vine shirt. I love Vineyard Vines. I'm wearing it right now. Uh, represent. <clears throat> so, I just want, I love Shark Week, by the way. I love sharks, and I love Shark Week. Sorry if you're uh, afraid of sharks, but I love Shark Week. So, if you guys have ever seen, they, like, put them down in those cages, uh, like, people down in those cages in, like, shark-infested waters, and they throw, like, 
fish and like bloody fish into the water so the sharks will swim around and you can like see them from in the water so uh there's a little or with a pocket and then on the back they usually have big designs so it says shark week vineyard vines and it's a whale inside the cage and like the signature vineyard vines well and then the sharks around it i thought that was funny so i was like you know what i'm getting that so yeah ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it but anyway i was super happy with all of these comment below tell me what you think tell me what you like what you didn't uh tell me the top thing on your list right now because like I'm like, lots of things going through my head and you're like, what I want for my birthday, what do I want for this? So like, tell me the top thing that's on your mind, maybe we have the same interests. Uh, cause I know I want like Ray-Ban, so those are probably the top right now. Um, anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna go out and watch game seven, the Blues are about to win. Uh, sorry to you Boston fans, but yeah, so, uh, see you guys. What you didn't see was <laughs> this disaster of a room. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. My gosh, it's I embarrassing. Up, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay. You can see it in the floor. Well, so I just good. shared it with our friends. What made you happy today, right guy? Definitely the shopping spree. Definitely the ultra boost. Um, uh, me looking forward to all the fun things that are coming up. My last day of school. Um, everyone else's second to last day. My last day is tomorrow. Uh, excited for that. I'm gonna miss my friends, but still excited for that. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Also, uh, I mean, it didn't really make me happy, but the Blues won. Congrats to the Blues. Boston fans, I'm sorry. Don't, actually, no, I'm not gonna say that, because I, I still want Boston fans to subscribe. Uh, so, yeah. Alright. Good. Up, by the way. <laughs> Alright, All right, have a good night. Mm. Good night. Hope you can find your jammies somewhere yeah, in that sure. morass. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. What made you happy today, B-Man? Uh, what made me happy today was the Bruins not winning the Stanley Cup. <laughs> did it make you happy that the Blues won? Or you just didn't want the Bruins to win? I just didn't want the Bruins to win. And I know what it feels like um, to, you know, win the first cup. So congratulations to Bruins, or Blues fans. And, um, yeah, enjoy yourself, you know? It only happens... You're probably going to lose in the first round this year <laughs> in Game 7 because the ice is really crappy and you played bad in double overtime. <laughs> um, so enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. He's talking and about his capitals. Hey, and go to the parade like we did last year. It was really, yeah. really fun. Parade. Congratulations. Suggested. All right, Stanley Cup is super duper fun. All right, good night, dreams. I love you. I should love you too. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to go and check if Katie's still awake. I don't know. If she is, we'll get we'll be happy. Okay, so I think. I, okay, so this is what I think happened right there. I'm pretty sure she fell asleep to music, and then her watch is going off. I think. <laughs> I can't really tell. How oh, is she sleeping? To I mean, well, she's sick, so it's good that she's sleeping. But like, I mean, the watch just stopped. So. She's out for the night. She's out. Anyway, um, me and mom was out the night. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below me, you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, leave a link on the video. Also, follow me. It's Ryan Donnelly on Instagram. Cool. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.